Gentlemen, the quest for amazing hair volume is something that a lot of guys face, right? They're like, yo, I want my hair to stand up and look incredible, but I hate using a freaking hair dryer. Am I right or am I right? I know I'm right because I hate using a hair dryer, but I actually haven't used a hair dryer in the past, I don't know, three, four, five months. I would go out on a limb and say that my hair now without using a hair dryer has more volume than it used to. It definitely has better hold. I'm using less product and today I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright guys, so here is how to achieve incredible volume without a blow dryer. Out of the shower, I towel dry my hair pretty well. It's still a little bit damp. Then what I do, I take the Pete and Pedro sea salt spray, which is an incredible pre-styler, and then I give it about one, two, three, four, five squirts on top, rub it in, and then I lift my bangs up, give it another two, three, four, five squirts, and one for good measure. All right, I saturate my hair lightly. Then what I'm going to do... Then I take the Pete and Pedro Putty, which is a high hold, low shine product. All right, take a little bit of that in my palm. Here's the key, you've got to emulsify, guys. One of the biggest issues that I see guys having with hair product is that they don't emulsify it, all right? Emulsification is activating the hair product, all right? Right there, and then I start working it through my hair all over, all the way down to the scalp, making sure to cover and coat the entire hair shaft, all right? Then, I'm gonna take my brush or my comb, comb it into place right there, and then I'm gonna get dressed, hit the road, and I'll see you in 15 minutes. All right, guys, so it's been 15 minutes. I'm now at work, and my hair is starting to get pretty crispy and crunchy, right? And this is perfect. This is what you're looking for. What I'll do is I will go into work then and just start to sort of give it a little bit of that, right? And it's still damp underneath, okay? The idea behind sort of shaking it a little bit and giving it the business is to let air flow in because the idea now is to let it dry sort of from the inside out. Um, and so right right here right there right there and you can see it's starting to dry right but it's still like we said it's still damp and so give it a little bit of this and then i wait another 15 minutes so it's been another 15 minutes so 30 minutes since i got out of the shower and left the house now what i'm going to go in my hair is pretty much totally dry and as you can see when i do that <laughs> <laughs> look at that. That's volume as far as I'm concerned. Look at that. Like, I could, if I want more volume, right? <laughs> it's crazy the difference. I get more volume um, doing it this way as opposed to using a hair dryer. And I think really the main reason is because when you use a hair dryer, especially when you're using a dryer with heat, it actually will break down and make the hair product a little bit softer. And so this is something that I recently started doing and honestly my hair feels a little bit healthier and the volume is ridiculous. But seriously, like like that like that's some serious volume. And like I said, it can get higher and, and bigger. And the other crazy thing about this is that the volume and the hairstyle stays in place like all day long. It my hair's never looked better since I started doing this. I always used to think, and I was in the camp, that, oh, you got to use a hair dryer to get it into place and to give it that volume and that lift. Well, apparently, I was wrong, and I really love this. I also feel like my hair is healthier as a result of not using a hair dryer heat every single day. And so it might be something that you want to try and, and just experiment with. Guys, if you want to check out the sea salt spray, I will link to this along with the Pete and Pedro Putty down below, along with a great discount code. If you guys haven't tried these two products, they're the best on the market, and honestly, they're, they're, they're super good for your hair. Um, one of the issues that people have with the sea salt spray is they think that it's going to dry your hair out. Um, not when it's infused with sea kelp, which we do. This actually helps hold the moisture in. But even though it's a great product, you need to make sure that you're conditioning your hair when you're using a sea salt spray once a week, I would say would be would be the, uh, the safe bet. But guys, just want to do this video, something that I found for myself that I thought you might enjoy because I know that there's a lot of questions out there about getting volume, about getting volume and lift without using heat or or a hair dryer. Guys, it worked for me. It will probably, not probably, it will definitely work for you.